Hello and welcome to Show and Tell with me, Stephen Leslie, uh, the series where I show you some photographs and then tell you about them. And this is episode five. Uh, now, if you're very, very observant, you would have probably noticed in the little bar thing that comes up that this is a very, very short episode. Um, the reason for that is because here in the UK, it's still bloody half term. Uh, my son gets a full two whole weeks off uh, plus an inset day either end so yeah he's just off school for ages so I haven't got time to do a whopping great rambling deep dive into some obscure avenue of photography but what I have done is something a bit different and surely that's okay because different is good right we all like a bit of variety spice of life etc etc so here's what I'm going to do I'm still going to show you a photograph and I'm still going to tell you about it but this time I'm going to read you a story inspired by a photograph. Now don't panic, it's only a minute and a half long, so just settle down, maybe put your headphones on if you need to, make yourself a cup of tea, look at the screen, relax. Ready? Here we go. She has lived in the house her whole life and has no intention of ever moving. Each afternoon, weather permitting, she carries a chair out onto the terrace and settles down to look. The view of the coastline is stunning and she knows it by heart. The mountains and tree-covered islands like vertebrae in the mist. This is why she now chooses a smaller chair and is careful to position it close enough to the wall so that she can't see over. She still wants to take the air but has no desire to look at that fucking view ever again. Instead, she focuses on the tiles and takes pleasure in what she finds there. The quality of the workmanship, all done by her father, she can stare at the lattice of cement straight lines for hours, imagining each tile holds a different memory from her past. Although she's just as content to switch focus and concentrate on the tiles themselves, follow the passage of drops of condensation or the gradual spread of mould and lichen, a spider doing battle with a fly or a parade of ants as they carry their spoils back home. All of it unfolds right in front of her, an entire myopic world she has no further use for the more conventional view. She has seen it so often that it bores her to tears. If just one more person tells her how lucky she is, or mentions the tree-covered islands and how they look like vertebrae in the mist again, she's going to stab them repeatedly in the face with a blunt chopstick. She's not joking. She doesn't care anymore. So that was a short story that I wrote about a photograph that I took in Taiwan in 2012. Um, and it was in my book Sparks, which came out in 2018 uh, and is now unfortunately completely sold out. However, I am doing a sequel, which is going to be called Mostly False Reports. And again, it's going to be a combination of short stories and photographs that I've taken. Uh, and if you're at all interested in that, you can sign up for the mailing list down below. Uh, please let me know what you thought. If you want me to do more of these little short stories and photograph combos uh, every now and again, then great, I will. If, however, you thought that was a tremendous imposition and you hated it and you never want me to do it again, then also say I'm sort of still learning doing all this, uh, so it's good to know what people think. Anyway, uh, hopefully next week uh, when half term is over, I'll do another proper rambling, waffling dive into some obscure photograph or other. Uh, and in the meantime, thanks very much for everyone who's signed up so far and uh, yeah, see you soon.